What's going on everybody? We're back with part two of the supercharger installation. And today we're gonna to talk about the parts that you need. Let's do it. Some of the parts in a supercharger kit are uh, fairly easy to find, but some of them are very hard. It took me approximately two years to find all the parts I bought. I also bought two separate supercharger kits and still didn't have all of the parts in the end and had to search for a few different ones to make the kit complete. So it's not an easy task, but if you want to keep your car a stock Celine and use all Celine parts, you're going to have to work hard at it and search and search and search to find all of these parts. The reason why a lot of the Celine parts are really hard to find is because they haven't been made for probably a good eight years or so now. Um, a few of the parts are still made by some aftermarket companies, but Celine uh, really hasn't made any of the supercharger parts in years. So that's why these are really hard to find and when you do find them you are, are going to pay for them a bit so let's get into the parts here are all the parts you're going to need to take your na celine s281 and make it into a celine s281 sc supercharged you can also do this on any other two valve mustang as well 99 to 04. First thing we're going to start with is the installation instructions. Lower manifold gaskets, throttle body gasket, EGR tube, supercharger oil. This particular cold air kit is a Celine Extreme one that I upgraded to. 70 millimeter throttle body, heater tube, thermostat housing, overflow support rod, bigger fuel pump. Over here we have the intercooler pump and the overflow tank with lines. We have a stock Mustang GT water pump and alternator pulleys because the Celine S281 NAs came with underdrive pulleys so you're going to have to switch to the factory GT pulleys. Over here we have the alternator bracket, spacer, and bolt. We have the dash pot, the PFE sensor. This is the wiring for the uh, heat exchanger fans and the intercooler pump. And of course the heat exchanger and fans. A series two supercharger, M90 Eaton, lower manifold. Here we have the EGR solenoid bracket that you're going to need. We have throttle body and cruise control cables, which are these particular ones are for, from a Terminator. Also, the throttle and cruise control cable bracket. And that's all of the parts. Oh, one more thing, the Celine ECU. Alright, so now that we've gone over the parts you need, uh, let's get into some of the things that you have to change on uh, when, when you're doing the install and why you have to change them. So this is 
one of the things when you're going from NA to supercharged on the uh, two valve uh, Mustang GT Celine whatever you wanna whatever your application is uh, this is the NA heater tube that runs in the valley underneath the lower manifold and because it comes up like this the supercharged lower manifold will not fit so you have to go with this see how it doesn't come up like this one does so it'll fit underneath the lower manifold for the supercharger you can find these on eBay uh, for the Celine or it's the same as a Terminator Cobra one of the things you have to do when you're putting a supercharger on here from uh, an a car is take this uh, crank underdrive pulley off this red one right here you don't want to be running that with the supercharger on and so you're just gonna put this one back on by itself and the belt will run off of this one instead of that one the next thing you got to do is get under the passenger side front fender cut this back and then you're going to mount drill these holes here and mount your intercooler pump bracket right here and then the intercooler pump so when you get your lower manifold to this point see I've cleaned the surface and the surface and even underneath um, you're ready for assembly and uh, I have a couple things on so far one hose and um, the sending unit for the boost gauge but uh, <clears throat> I mean for the most part I have a whole assembly ahead um, and this is kind of your starting point so that was a few of the changes um, the other stuff is pretty self-explanatory uh, you gotta lengthen the uh, alternator wires a little bit since that gets moved up a hair and some other miscellaneous things um, changing out your throttle cable and cruise control cables pretty self-explanatory then just uh, assemble a supercharger and bolt it up put everything back together and get ready to go uh, I hope this was informative I hope you learned something about the Celine supercharger kits and the uh, install to make your NA car a supercharged car and uh, if you have any questions Comment down below and uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more S281 content. Don't act like you don't know. Don't know. Don't know.